Hi guys, today we are going to discuss Cambridge Primary Checkpoint with the topic English Paper 2 Fiction. The code is 0844-02 is the past paper for April 2020. The duration for this paper is one hour. In here we will get maximum of 50 marks, total marks and there is section A reading. 30 minutes and section B will be writing. Let's scroll all over the question. So you may take a screenshot if you want to and pause this video for a while to do and self-study and after that we can see the discussion together. This is question one, two, three. Next, if you take the screenshot, now we move to question four, five, six, four, five. This is 5, 4, and 5, A, and B. Next, let's move to question 6. Here we go, and this is 7. And then 8 and 9. And then we move to question 10, 11, 12. And after that is 13, 14. And this is 15A, B, 16, and 15A, B, and 16. Let me take the screenshot. And this is 17, 18. And next, followed by section B, writing. It is 30 minutes in this section. This is what we have to write. The topic is given. And this is the place for space your plan. You can sketch. And after that, this is the place for writing the story. Yeah. It's given two pages. The space. All right. Now let's get started from number one to discuss the answer. Before that, we want to read the text in the insert let's read together here we go this is the text for section a let's read together
That's it for the reading. Now, let's go back to the question. Question 1. If one word from the first paragraph, lines 1 to 6, that means started. Let's check lines 1 to 6. Here we go, lines 1 to 6. To get one word, it means started. One word will be broke. That will be the answer. So we type broke as it's only one word. We should give only one word. Don't give two words. So we must follow the instruction. Next question two. What is happening at Heathrow Airport? To cause problem. So let's check what is happening at Heathrow Airport. There is the storm broke early in the evening. Runway one had disappeared in the rain. Runway two was a canal. Half the plant had been delayed and the other half were circling hopelessly above the clouds waiting their turn to land. And create so much disorder it is because of the storm so we just write there is a storm at Heathrow Airport next let's move to question 3 if one word from the first paragraph that tell us that the people in the planes did not expect to arrive soon let's check the first paragraph one word so we just have to find one word this is the first paragraph and the one word it will be hopelessly. That will be the answer. Let's write down. So the answer is hopelessly. Next, let's move to question four. Where was one plane forced to go instead of Heathrow? So if we see from the reading, the information given is the wind had blown on Air France DC-10 all the way to Luton while in a jumbo jet from Tokyo. 79 Japanese passengers had all been sick. At the same time, it was a night no one would forget. So that will be the place will be Luton. So one plan was forced to go to Luton instead of Heathrow. Next, let's move to question 5. What happened to the porter? So let's check the reading to see what happened to the porter. Let's trace the word porter. This porter. So it starts from the sentence, the green Mercedes reached the airport at exactly half past 7, skidding around a corner and spring water across over two traffic wardens a porter and a visitor from norway so a porter got sprayed with water from the green car so he got sprayed with water from the car next let's See question 5b. How is the Mercedes car being driven? Complete the table below with two quotations from the text. So we have to fill the table here. How too fast, dangerously, quotation will be rocketed into the car park. Then we have to answer this one, the two quotation. Let's find from the reading. This is the story about the green Mercedes. And let's check how it driven dangerously. So the answer from here will be skidding around a corner and swerving across the road or it missed a taxi by inches. So we just write two of the
the quotation. The first will be skidding around the corner. Second, missed a taxi by inches. But you may also answer swerving across the road. It will be also correct. Now let's move to the next question. Question six. Look at this sentence. The electric side window slid down and a hand with a signet ring with the initial GW entwined in gold reached out to plug a parking ticket from the machine. Lines 9 to 11 explain how the writer creates interest in the character driving the car. Give two ways. Let's check line 9 to 11. Alright, this is in line 9 to 11. We'll check how the writer creates interest in the character driving the car. So we have to find two ways. Uh, it describes about a hand with a signet ring and initial GW entwined in gold. We may answer by giving details of the ring and by making us wonder who is GW and also by suggesting that the character is rich because in gold and twine in gold. We just type down the answer. Alright, we have two marks then. We just write the writer creates interest in the character by giving details of the rings and by making you wonder who W who GW is. Next question seven. But however, if you have other answer that you need to clarify, please feel free to write in the comment section. If you open this video through Susan Hira YouTube channel, we will reply to you back. Now question 7. Look at lines 11 till 14. How does the writer use language to build up excitement? Complete the table below. Language feature, powerful verbs. The quotation is shut up. Onomatopoeia and the quotation, and this is blank, language feature, the engine died, and alliteration, the quotation. So we have to find from line 11 till 14. Let's check. There we go. This is line 11 till 14. First, let's refresh our knowledge for onomatopoeia, alliteration. Let's check the revision for a while. Onomatopoeia is... The language features using a word that imitates the sound it represents. Example, splash, pop, and bang. So that is for onomatopoeia. And next will be personification. Personification is the act of giving non-human things, human characters. Example, the car coughed to life. The flowers danced in the breeze. Next. Alliteration is the use of the same beginning consonant sound in a line or verse. Example, Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers. So all the same consonant of P. Now let's get back to the question. So for this question, we have to refer to lines 11 till 40 for onomatopoeia and alliteration and what is the language feature for the engine die. Well, of course, this one will be personification. As we have discussed in the notes. Now for lines 11 till 14. 11 till 14. We see from here till 14. It is easier to identify alliteration. Since it starts with the same consonant, so we see B and B beneath the band or broken bonnet. Next, for onomatopoeia, we can see that steam hissed or crashed. That will be for onomatopoeia. And let's type down in the answer slot. So we have this answer, onomatopoeia, his personification is the engine die, so the engine 
like a living organism. Next, alliteration is broken button. Next, we move to question 8. What caused the driver to crash into the wall? Let's find the passage where it's stated that it crashed into the wall. So this is where it crashed into the wall. Before it threatened, the, then the car jumped forward again, shot up three ramps with the tire screaming and crashed into a wall. So the driver was going too fast or he was driving dangerously. You can see from the sentence before. So we typed it down. So we typed he was driving dangerously. Next, we move to question nine. The man laughed after a crash. Why? So take one box because the car is old, because the woman is scared, because the car is not important, because the passengers are safe. Let's check. Well, the sentence said he laughed out loud. What is the sentence before? The man stared at her. You're right, he exclaimed. It doesn't matter at all. We are leaving the car here. We'll never see it again. So, so the answer will be, is not because the car is old or because the woman is scared, but because the car is unimportant. So we shall take this one and not because of this. So that will be the answer because only one box Let's move to question 10 now. Question 10, look at this sentence, part of a pink silk tie, a striped pajama leg and a frilly shower cap were poking out of one side, lines 25 till 26. What does this tell us about how the people from a car left home? Let's check lines 25 till 26. So this is line 25 till 26. They only had two suit passes between them. Part of a pink silk tie, a striped jam leg, and a frilly shower cap were poking out of one side. This sentence showed that the people were in a hurry or in a rush. So we type this down, the people from a car left home in a hurry. Next question, 11. And the three of them froze, line 28 to 29. What does this tell us about how the characters are feeling? So how they are feeling? Let's see, line 28 to 29. But just then, there was a flash of lightning and an explosion of thunder, and the three of them froze alone in the middle of the dimly lit car park a plan roared past overhead well the sentence the three of them froze after flash of lightning and explosion of thunder it indicates that they are frightened or afraid or fearful or nervous so we type the answer they are frightened Next, we move to question 12. Give one sentence from the text that tell us that the family are running away from someone. So we have to give one sentence, one sentence. If we keep reading, we'll see that it's all right. Gordon snapped, she's not here. Keep your hair on, means be calm. We are going to be all right, out. Keep my hair on, except I pack it. So this sentence, she is not here, indicates that they are running away from someone. And also it said, we are going to be all right. So we choose this sentence, she's not here. So we type this down, she's not here. Oh, next move to let's move to question 13 what does the phrase keep your hair on line 31 mean take one box the speed up 
keep alert, stay calm, or be quiet. So the answer will be stay calm. Keep your hair on means stay calm. So it takes one box, stay calm. Next, let's move to question 14. Look at lines 33 till 34. The boy is more in control of the situation than his parents. How does the boy show this? Let's check line 33 to 34. So this is line 33. Come on. They've got to get the tickets, boy said. And without waiting for his parents, he began to walk towards the leaves. The sentence shows that the boy takes charge. Without waiting for his parents, he began to walk towards the leaf. And tells them what to do. So we just type down the answer. He leads his parents to buy the tickets. Now we are in question 15. Look at this phrase. Like a television set with the color turned up too much. Lines 36 till 37. What is the phrase above an example of? Let's check lines 36 till 37. So this is 36. After the darkness of the storm, the building was unnaturally bright like a television set. With the color turned up too much. There were people everywhere milling around with their suitcases. So the sentence before, like a television set with a color turn up too much the darkness of the storm the building was unnaturally bright so the phrase since it's used the word like is the example of a simile simile is a comparison between two different things use connecting words like and as so light is easy to identify, so we just type the answer. The phrase above is an example of a simile. Next, question 15b. 15b, why does the inside of the airport building seems so bright? So it was so dark outside because of the storm. That's that the building was unnaturally bright. It was so bright compared to outside where their eyes were not used to the light. So we type the answer, it was so dark outside and their eyes were not used to the light. Next, let's move to question 16. Look at this sentence. He was the only person smiling, line 38. Give a reason why the other people in the airport are not as cheerful as the policeman. So, a policeman controlled the area. He was the only person smiling. The sentence before that says there were people everywhere milling around with their suitcases and carrier bags. So the word milling in here means moving around in a confused mass. So they are confused, they are frustrated, they are sad because of the delays. And they are stuck at the airport. The bad weather has spoiled their journey. So we just type one of the answers. They are frustrated because of the storm. Next, let's move to question 17. Whose point of view is the story being told from? Take one box. Is it the woman, the boy, the narrator, or the man? So it's definitely the narrator. This is our notes for point of view. The first person is I, me, we, mm my, our, and ours, and then the story is told by one of the characters. The second person, the narrator, is talking to the reader, like you, your, and yours, 
the third person point of view is the story is told by the narrator outside of the story keywords will be he she it they them so if you see from the pronoun used is he their his and so this is the per third person and the narrator is out of the story she right so the answer is the narrator point of view next let's move to question 18 this text has features from the two genres of writing what are the two genres tick two boxes is it is it horror science fiction thriller historical fiction or comedy let's eliminate the answer the movie doesn't look like a the story doesn't look like a horror so it's not horror and it's definitely not science fiction and also it's not even historical fiction so it's since we have to tick two boxes, our choice is thriller and comedy. So let's check back. Which one shows that is thriller? We see from the story. Uh, the storm broke early in the evening and by 7 o'clock it looked like as if his road might have to shut down. So runway 1 had disappeared in the rain, runway 2 was a canal, half of the planes had been delayed and the other half were circling hopelessly above the clouds. So. This give the reader feelings of anxiety, suspense, and surprise of the scene. If the story give tension to the reader, that is not predictable. Well, from the passage, you see that the green Mercedes reached the airport at exactly half past seven, skidding around a corner and spraying water over two traffic wardens, a porter, and a visitor from Norway. So, this looks like a scene from a funny movie like Mr. Bean. So, it has comedy feature. So we type this down, comedy. Next, section B is writing. We spend 30 minutes in on this section. It's question 19. The family discover that they are being followed. Continue the story. Ideas will help you who is following the family. Why are they being followed? How does the family react? Where does the action take place? Is it the airport, on a plane, or somewhere else? What happens? Does the family get away? How does the story end? Is the space for your plan? And after you make the sketch, then you can write a story, even two pages here, and the total mark is 25 marks. Well, the marking for the writing will be Maximum 8 mark for content, purpose, and audience. So, as long as the text type is clearly established, vocabulary is well chosen and the response is relevant to the ideas and question. You can get good score and also text organization and text structure. Try to make well crafted paragraphs and for the spelling. Use correct spelling, 
sentence structures and punctuation. So punctuation is correctly used and arranged or appropriate when various sentence structures are used to create effect. Use correct and accurate grammars. All right, this all sum up to you 25 marks. Now you'll scroll all over the answers, so you may take a screenshot of the marks game. Here we go, this is question one, two, three, the answer. Next is four, five, A. Next is five, A and B. Next we move to question six. And this is question seven. And next is question eight and nine. And then we move to question 10, 11, 12. Then we shall move to 13 and 14. And we shall move to question 15A and B, question 16, and then 17, 18, and then that's it. So today we have discussed English primary checkpoint with a paper code 0844 slash 02. It's April 2020. Fiction. Please like and share to anybody who might need it because it's free. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for Southern Hira YouTube channel. So you will be the first to be notified when we release our newest and latest updates. And Click the symbol under the right bottom corner of this video. If you open to Susan E. YouTube channel, you'll see all other useful links. Don't miss this description section as it contains a lot of links for other past papers and also science and mathematics. So today's discussion is conducted by Sudan Education Online. Be careful for all these subject and program. Please. Write in the comment section if you have any advice, idea, question, or request. And if you have any unsolved past work, you can send to us through email and we will see what we can do for you. Okay, bye bye, and we hope today's discussion will be helpful to you. And God bless you.